I'm so excited because there is finally a movie to review. I haven't reviewed a movie in months because the movie theaters have been closed. So this week we are going to talk about Artemis Fowl, the movie that was supposed to be released in movie theaters, ended up on Disney+. Plus. So this review is going to have very few spoilers because there's not really a lot to spoil. So if you haven't seen it, feel free to watch this whole thing. Okay, I think it's fair to start off by saying I had very low expectations for this movie. I was not super excited about it. Trailer didn't look great. I have read the first book, did not love it. So when I started seeing reviews saying that, oh, it totally strays from the book, I'm like, okay, maybe I'll like it because I didn't particularly care for the book, right? Which brings me to my opinion of this movie. I did not like it. Usually when you go into a movie thinking you're not gonna like it, you got low expectations, you're like, okay, that wasn't that bad. This movie was pretty bad. So let's talk about why. This is obviously a kid movie. The books are for kids, like pretty young readers, but they put so much complex stuff in it and so many things that nothing came together for me in this movie. And to be completely honest, I fell asleep for like 10 minutes of it. Anyways, so like I said, there's just so many little pieces and I was waiting for everything to come together and it didn't really happen. Let's start with Artemis. Artemis Fowl, this young, brilliant kid, has no friends, doesn't like anybody. I don't think anybody really likes him. I think the kind of, like his dad's partner guy kind of cares for him, like his is ward or something but not really like a son. His dad I feel definitely loves him but there's nothing likable. I had so many more questions so not only did I not care for the main character, the storyline didn't tie up or even really weave together very well. And even the characters weren't woven into the story as well as I would have liked. You know, the dad obviously goes missing, we see that in the trailer, but we don't know why. I mean, we know that somebody took him, but I never really understood what he was doing or what he was trying to do or where he was going or even how we got into this business. Like, where's the mom? Like, what happened to her? And there's even some characters that they bring in that they literally do nothing with. His kind of psychic guy has a need and they go through this whole thing of saying that she was trained in martial arts and then literally the whole movie she just is running from room to room like no combat whatsoever so why give us that and then not this that's like a perfect example of some of the characters in this movie I think the only kind of clear characters we understand are the fairies but even then they're trying to solve this mystery for the fairies but we don't know what this artifact like really does except keep their world turning they throw in a bunch of names from that world that we don't really get to hear or see or learn about either. So not only are there lots of questions in the storyline, I have a lot of questions about the characters as well, which I don't like to try to do in a movie. I like to know about my characters, what we're fighting for, where they come from. Like obviously, yeah, they've got to have secrets of their own, but I need to have a little more about them to care about them. And I didn't care about any character. I didn't hate everything about this movie, so don't get me wrong. Like I said, I really liked the fairies and I really liked the dwarf character as well. But even his character, I had so many questions and something would happen in the movie that I remember from the book and I'm like why aren't they explaining this like they did in the book I mean that is the great flaw of putting a book to movie you are gonna cut things but I feel like some things just need to be there anyways like I said I did not hate everything about this movie I loved the costumes like I thought they did such a great job visually with costumes and with the set like I love the foul manor I loved his house I thought it was beautiful and all the special effects like even the dwarf his whole jaw drops like really big so he can eat a bunch of dirt and things and that visual was really well done so the visuals in this movie a plus it's really just the storyline that i did not enjoy but i just i don't think it's gonna do well it's obviously set up for multiple movies because there are multiple books like lots of books and i would like to say the reason i did not like the books is I think I was a little too old. It's very immature jokes, language. It was just a little too like fart jokey for me. I read it because it was recommended. If you read Percy Jackson, you're gonna like this. 
it's not the same. Percy Jackson has just that little bit more level of maturity than this book does. That's why I didn't like the book. That's not why I didn't like the movie though. So I feel like you can take them as two separate things. I don't know, I was just so excited to finally have a movie to review and it just... <sighs> I've been waiting for something new for so long and it just kind of fell flat for me. That is Artemis Fowl in a nutshell. I can't even give it one thumbs up and you guys know how I love everything. I did not enjoy this movie at all. It's not scary. I think all ages can watch it if you do want to give it a try and I don't want to discourage you from watching it because I guarantee you there are people out there that really like this movie. I'm just not one of them. My name's Aubrey. I make new videos every Thursday so make sure you subscribe and follow me on all my social media and I will see you guys next week. I can't even think if I had a favorite scene or not. I think I just wanted to live in that house more than anything. That, that's my favorite part of the movie. The house. That's so bad.